Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Fikrat and this is another video uh, dedicated to learning Microsoft Fabric. In the last video, we learned using lookup activity, which is a um, great activity to extract data, uh, whether you are looking to extract one row or one value, or you are looking to get a data set, so not multiple rows. Uh, lookup activity is one of the activities which are um, useful in the context of the pipeline. So I would call it a, a data supplier or information supplier. Um, what, it, what it means that you can receive the data from these uh, activities and uh, use it uh, within other activities down the road. Um, Today we are going to explore um, variables within pipelines um, as well as activities that are designed to work with variables. Uh, so variables are a great way to receive information from uh, some activities, uh, store it in memory and pass it uh, to other activities down the road. Uh, let me open the lookup pipeline that I created in last video and I'll start by adding variables. So if I click on empty space in, uh, in the pipeline canvas, I, I have multiple tabs here and so I can open variables tab and add new variable. I'll call it last name variable and I will leave its type um, string because I know that last name is going to be a uh, string type. Uh, next, let's add set variable activity and create success dependency between these two. Now let's configure the set variable uh, activity So first I need to select variable that I want to assign. So this is going to be last name. And here I can type uh, expression, uh, so data factor expression, uh, but I will use add dynamic content uh, to uh, achieve that easily. So this opens pipeline expression builder for me. And as you can see, Fabric already proposed some easy options for me. So because I am going to use first row, uh, so this is the option I'm going to choose. So this will result with um, JSON, which includes two fields. So as you may remember, so my JSON was had first row as a root node. And under that, I had two fields. So I'm going to add last name here. and hit OK. Let's save and execute this pipeline. So my pipeline uh, completed. Let me examine uh, output from lookup query. Yeah, so as you can see, we have this JSON and uh, I'll check the set variable output. Um, as expected, we have last name. So variable name was last name and this is the value that was assigned to that. Set variable Activity allows you to use um, any uh, pipeline artifacts as well as some functions and the power of expressions. So let me add another variable here. I'll call it full name. Now let's um, clone set variable activity.
and set dependency between lookup and this activity. I'm going to call this as for full name. So this activity is going to create, generate full name from uh, first name and last name. So I'll open settings and assign full name as a, part, a variable name and uh, open expression builder remove this expression and uh, I'll head to functions tab which has multiple built-in functions so I'm going to use string um, so open string category and use can cat function here and now I can switch to activity outputs and select uh, first row and add first name here first name then we're going to add space and we're going to add last name I'll save and execute this pipeline again. Okay, so my pipeline completed. Uh, I'll go ahead and examine the output from full name activity. And as you can see, now we have nicely formed uh, full name here. Okay, so uh, now that we learned how to operate, uh, how to assign variables, simple variables, uh, let's do something slightly more complex. So uh, we are going to explore Okay, now that we know how to consume single row output from lookup activity, uh, let's see how we can consume multi-row datasets. So, first of all, I will add um, a variable that can contain multi-row multi datasets. So, I'll call it name list. And for data type, I'm going to use array type. So any other data types presented there, they, they are for single row uh, or scalar values. Uh, so array is uh, array is data types that contain multiple rows. Next, I'm going to select lookup activity and uh, clear first row only setting, which will ensure that we have multiple rows. Uh, next, I will remove full name activity and reconfigure set variable activity. So I will select name list from variable list. So it now where I am telling this to assign results to name list variable and I'll open expression builder or remove this and now we can see that there is a array expression available for us so i'll choose this and confirm we'll save and run the pipeline My pipeline has been completed. Um, let's examine uh, variable values. So values assigned to my variable. I'll click output. And now you can see that I have name list variable and it has multiple rows, uh, each coming with the, uh, two fields. This concludes today's session. 
Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.